They called themselves protectors, not protesters. For months, some activists have called this campsite home, regardless of the weather. But now they're being evicted by state officials in North Dakota. You're all subject to arrest right now. Indigenous activists, human rights advocates, and environmentalists from around the world have been protesting against the building of the $3.7 billion Dakota Access Pipeline. You all right? Law enforcement officers have been accused of using excessive force during the six-month standoff. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and its supporters say the pipeline, which is routed upstream of the reservation, threatens its water supply and sacred sites. Sioux leaders argue that Native Americans have treaty rights to the ancestral land they are being forced to vacate. It's land the Army Corps now controls. The eviction takes place less than a month after President Donald Trump expedited approval of the oil pipeline. That reversed the Obama administration's decision to stop the project pending a full environmental impact study. We knew this day was going to come. We knew that uh, they need to remove themselves from this. And it's unfortunate that they, that they put themselves in this situation. According to court documents filed on Tuesday, the pipeline is expected to be completed and ready for oil by April. Some indigenous people say they're not discouraged by the North Dakota Access Pipeline. They say that's because this is the same struggle they've been fighting for centuries. Sarah Jones, TRT World.